It's your boy, Mr. CV. I'm back. Hey, it's your boy Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another very, very special, special video. I've had this video in my mind for a while, and I actually wanted to make this video. And listen, I don't really know who needs to hear this video, but quite a lot of people do actually, because it's a video where literally, it's a video where literally I've seen a lot of people. And please, please, don't lose yourself. Don't, don't lose yourself. I see a lot of people, they're working absolutely hard, they're pushing themselves, trying to achieve their goals, and they're not, they're not looking after themselves. Physically, mentally, they're not looking after themselves. And it really shows, it really shows, because literally, I've, I know people my age, where obviously I've gone to school with a lot of people, whether university, but mostly school, I know people that I went to secondary school with, and the same age as me, or even younger, and if you see the size of their belly, it's like a, it's like a swimming pool. It's huge. And these these guys are they, they're very young, young people. And already physically, they they've lost themselves physically. And it, it's tough. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say it's easy because it's tough. It's difficult. And uh, sometimes I, I understand like obviously why that's the case because. Literally, people are working long, long hours, and if you've worked long hours, the last thing you want to do is come home, then go and exercise. You're tired. You're you, mentally, you need to push yourself, and it can be so difficult. It can be really difficult. The easiest thing to do is just literally just come home after work, eat, and just go to sleep or just watch TV. And I know that it can be quite easy to do that to fall into that routine but I want to tell anyone I like, don't lose yourself even last week I just spoke to uh, one of the people that went to my school and I went to my secondary school like, I haven't seen him for years I come back and I see this guy god damn like I felt I felt embarrassed for him I felt sad I felt ashamed for him because if you see the size of him this guy was very skinny very very skinny back in secondary school now, like, he's as if someone pumped him. He's as if someone pumped him up. Or it's as if someone used some, I don't even know, some, some bike pump and just pumped him up. Like, it's just huge. And I had to tell him, like, I think, I think obviously, when it comes to weight and things like that, I know he's a very, very difficult subject. I know he's a very, very tricky subject. Like, I, I do know that. But it's a case where I think sometimes, obviously because it's a very, very tricky subject, it's a very, very tough subject. People don't want to tell each other, people don't want to tell each other the truth or people don't want to tell others the truth just because they don't want to hurt their feelings. And I can understand that, but obviously because I know the guy since secondary school, for, since a long time, we used to play football together, very active, all of a sudden, like, he's just huge. Obviously, I just had to, I called him to the side, like, like oh, look, listen, like, health-wise, health-wise, it's not even healthy for you. And I had to tell him, like, obviously in a nice, polite way as well, obviously not to embarrass him or shame him, but he's just one of many people that I've seen, that I've seen that, uh, they've, they've lost themselves physically. And like I said, it can be quite tricky because when I asked him what job does he do, he said, oh, he is an Uber driver and obviously with Uber driving, you're driving for so long, you're not, you're hardly moving, you're in your car and I can understand like obviously why obviously you can fall into a routine, even myself, I fall into that routine sometimes and even for me, I can't even say it's easy, it's hard as well, even for me. It comes to the point where sometimes if I don't find motivation, I look at people like the guy, like the guy that went to my secondary school. I look at him or I look at people, other people that I've met that are similar age than me, that have lost themselves physically. I look at people that are even younger than me that have lost themselves physically. I look at them, they become my motivation to be honest with you. Even sometimes when my alarm goes off and I don't want to wake up, I, my, the thought comes to my head that look, if you don't look after yourself, you're going to end up like that. And it's not even about just ending up like that, it's about just health-wise, mental-wise. 
And for that reason, every morning I pushed myself. I said, you know what? Most mornings, I can't say every morning, most mornings, I wake up about four o'clock. I go and make sure that I exercise and I make sure that I look after my body. And it's tough. I can't say it's easy. It's tough. It is difficult. And I try and sleep as early as I can. I try and sleep by like 10 o'clock. And you know what? You know what? I have to say I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very grateful. The reason is because sometimes I don't think we appreciate. I don't think. Sometimes I don't think we really appreciate um, how important our health is. I don't think a lot of people appreciate it. Because the reason why I'm saying I'm so lucky is because I'm grateful. Grateful, touch wood, no one in my family. We don't have anything such as insomnia. We don't have anything such as health problems too much. We don't have anything health related issues too much. So I'm very, very grateful for that because the more people I meet, especially these younger generation, they suffer from insomnia. If you don't know what insomnia is, insomnia is where you struggle to sleep. Some people are, some people are telling me they're taking sips, sleeping tablets. Some people are telling me they only sleep two hours a day. And I'm like, wow. And some people have been doing that for like five, six, seven years or even more. And I'm like, wow, I'm lucky. Like, if I, if I sleep, I can sleep. Now, obviously, because like I said, I wake up quite early in the morning to, to exercise. I don't, I only sleep about six hours a day, which sometimes is not enough, but obviously that's the sacrifice I have to make. And, but like I said, I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I don't suffer from insomnia, anxiety, depression. I'm very, very lucky that I don't suffer from any of those. But I can easily see why people fall into that, or why people, or the people that suffer from it, I hope obviously they, they, um, obviously they get better. But anyways, my point is this is, for me, obviously, like I said, it's difficult, it's tough, it is tough, but that's where sometimes you have to sacrifice and me, obviously, I, I sacrifice sleeping early because I sleep most of the time by 10 o'clock and I wake up by like 4 and that's part of the sacrifice I pay. But for me, I do know, obviously, it's a tough sacrifice, but for me, I do know Personally, I know that health-wise, I'm in a good, healthy state. Yes, I might be losing my hair, I might be going bald, but health-wise, physically, I'm getting back to my physical, to, to a good physical shape. And physically, I'm, I'm getting to a shape where I can look at myself in my mirror, you know, and say, you know what, I'm happy, I'm proud, and I feel good within myself, and that's what's important. But in saying that as well, I've always said to myself, if I didn't exercise, for example, I'll probably make more money. Now, the reason why I say that is because roughly, generally, most people exercise, exercise about, let's say, 10 hours a week. Let's say, let's say people did eight to 10 hours a week, eight plus hours a week for most people that exercise. Let's say you exercise four days a week, two hours, that's eight hours for most people. Obviously, if you're a bodybuilder or worthy of those, you don't you don't fall into that category. For for general people that are health-wise, eight hours a week. If you was to calculate that eight hours, let's say you was earning ten pounds an hour, for example. If you was to calculate that eight hours, times it by ten, that's 80, 80 pounds a week. You could be getting. Times that by four, that's 320 pounds in a, in a month. Times that by 12, I don't know the answer. <laughs> I don't know the answer. I have to get my pen and paper to work it out. But I can times it by 10, which would be 3,200. And then I can add another 32, which is 3,000. Nah, let me not embarrass myself. Let me not embarrass myself. <laughs> But yeah, you get my point anyway. If I wasn't exercising, I'd probably make more money because the time I used to exercise, I couldn't just use it to go to work or do something else. Or I don't know what I would do. But anyways, but for me, I started to realize that it's not even about the money anymore. It's about my health. You can have all these money, but if you're not healthy, you don't have health, what's the point? What's the point for that reason? For just that reason alone, it challenges me, apart from those people that said I'm motivated by it when I see their picture in my mind. 
But just that reason alone, it challenges me and it motivates me to say, you know what, no, I have to get up, I have to be, I have to push myself to make sure that health-wise I'm in good condition. Because recently someone told me actually, a rich man in India is in one private hospital right now and he's basically on life condition where literally um, he can't eat, he can't talk, he can't do anything. He's just on the bed and they have to feed him through his belly. What's keeping him alive is just literally his, um, the money because he's, he's got money to be able to, to be there. He's been there for about two and a half years. I called it to the person that told me that. And it just shows you that, yes, obviously you've got all that money, but what's the essence of the money if you don't have good health, if you're not looking after yourself mentally, physically? And for me, it's just important. Like I said, even for me, it's always a thing in the back of my mind. Like, yes, yes, obviously we're chasing our goals. We're chasing our, our dreams. And we obviously want to make as much money. Obviously, we're in the age where, obviously, the pressure of money starts to come in as well because you want to make as much money you want to be okay but for me like I said don't lose yourself in that process don't lose yourself don't lose yourself physically don't lose yourself mentally let me make this clear exercise isn't for everyone I have to make that clear because I know a lot of people they want to say exercise 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 isn't for everyone even for me exercising is boring for me I'm gonna say that even though I exercise exercising is boring but Exercising is boring for me, but I prefer to play football because when I play football, me scoring a goal or doing a skill gives me that feeling that can't be replaced in the gym. But because I can't play football as much as I, as I used to, especially when I was younger, because now obviously now I'm more occupied with other things, I've, I said to myself, I said I have to keep myself in a, in a, in a good shape, in a good, in a good physical condition. And the only way to do that is to exercise and exercise the time that I do choose to exercise. There are other reasons why I exercise that early as well. Actually, one of them, one of the reasons, I'm going to give you one of the reasons, I'm not going to tell you all the reasons why I exercise that early, but one of the reasons is because it gives me the whole day, I've got the rest of the day to work and do other things. And for me, it's about maximizing your time. And for me, because I have the whole day to do other things, I know that that exercise part, I've got it out of the way. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. But yeah, like I was saying, don't, don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself, it's important. I know people are chasing their goals. People are pushing themselves. People are challenging themselves. They want to do this, do that, do this. Don't, don't lose yourself. And just to finish off as well, I'll give you another example. Um, I knew someone literally they were working crazy hours we're talking about 16 hours a day crazy hours by the time we come back all they do is eat then go back to sleep then go back to work and obviously at the end of the month you're getting a lot of money you're getting maybe four or five thousand pound plus you're getting a lot of money but physically you can tell that's not physically healthy you can't sustain that you can't sustain it there's no way, there is no way you can sustain that. Luckily, luckily the person's left that job now because obviously I think they realise themselves that no, they can't, you, there's no way you're going to be able to sustain that kind of job at that intensity. So, but for me, yes, obviously like I said, everybody wants to challenge themselves and make money and push themselves and, um, and obviously make as much money as possible as well. But, Within that process, please don't lose yourself. Please, I'm begging people, I'm begging you. I don't know who needs to hear this video, but if you're watching this video right now, it could apply to you. And if it does apply to you, please think about your health first. Think about yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever leads they are there, think about it because it is tough, it's, it's, it's difficult and and like I said, like I was going to mention, or I think I did say it before, exercising is, isn't for everybody. Exercising is for everybody. That's, that's the honest truth. I've come to realise that. Ex exercising is for everybody. But if exercising isn't for you, there's so many other things you can do. I don't know. 
obviously you're going to have to do that research yourself. But there's so many other things you can do that obviously you can still look after yourself mentally. You don't have to, or physically, you don't have to go and exercise, maybe play sports, maybe do other things. I don't know personally, you're going to have to do that research. But anyways, the main point is don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. And it's highly important and I think this video I definitely have been looking to come go and do this video obviously I've had other things I wanted to do but I've been looking to do that and, I, and the more I keep seeing it I keep seeing around me the more I keep seeing around me don't lose yourself don't don't lose yourself because the problem is once you once you lose yourself it can be tricky it can be tricky to get back trust me like someone like me now if I was to lose my flat belly, wow, wow, it's gonna, it's gonna be tough. Let me just tell you that now, it is going to be tough. And obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a case where you have to get yourself into a routine. I know it's difficult, like I said, one thing about me is this is, I know some people will like to say, nah, say to yourself it's easy. Mm. I'm a person where I like to keep it as real as possible. I will tell you it's difficult, I will tell you it's tough, but you have to be ready to say, you know what, it's tough, but I'm still going to get through it. And that's the same mentality I use. When the alarm goes off at four, it's easy to press the snooze button. But now I said to myself, I said, no, it's difficult, it's tough, but you know what? I'm not doing it for anybody else, I'm doing it for me. Because you've got your body, your body is with you for the rest of your life, and you want a body that. Or you want to be in a mindset that you're proud of, you, you're happy with. And imagine you look at yourself in the mirror every day. You're, you're not happy. You're not. You, you, you've lost yourself. Yeah, you're getting a lot of money. Anyways, as I was saying, so please, please don't lose yourself. Uh, if you're out there and this video applies to you, or you feel like this video has an impact on you, because I don't know how far this video could travel. But if you're out there and this video has an impact on you. Or you feel like this video is can helpful to you please i want you to take it take take it and use it to challenge yourself to motivate yourself to, to make yourself better this 2023 yes make yourself as better as you can improve yourself develop your physical cv your body develop your mind your physical mind so please please don't lose yourself like i said if you know other people as well that might need this Obviously, it's, it's a bit hard. <laughs> Obviously, it's a bit hard because you don't want to go up to them and start telling them that. But maybe you can send my videos to them. Maybe on a slide, on a slide. Maybe you might send my videos to them on a slide, and they might ask you, "Oh, why are you sending me this video?" Just tell them, "Yeah, just watch it. It might be helpful for you." Maybe that might be a way of you helping them without physically telling them that you you need to start exercising or going to the gym. But also, if you know people. And you know them to a level where you know you can have a conversation with them you can pull them to the side and say you know what you, you need to start pushing yourself but obviously in a nice way in a respectful way and also you need to tell them that you know what we're not just gonna you're not just gonna do this on your own we're gonna do it together but i'm gonna support you because obviously like i said it can be very tricky I, i'm in that bucket too where literally most of us are working such long hours and trust me by the time you get home, your body don't want to do anything else. Your mind don't want to do anything else. So, and I know that it can be very, very hard. It can be very, very tricky. But please, like I said, and I'll keep saying it, I'm begging you, please, don't, don't lose yourself. Please don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself in this process. Don't lose yourself in this journey. Don't lose your mind. Don't lose your body. Please don't lose your, your physical capabilities obviously you want money because like I said when you have all this money and physically you're not able to move physically physically you can't push yourself or physically you're, you're, you're gone or physically in a physical condition that you're happy with then the money becomes very pointless to be honest with you it becomes very very pointless so listen it's your boy Mr. CV like I said if this video is resonates to you if this video is something that you feel other people can benefit from share the video obviously they're all there to share if it helps one person if it helps two people it, it's 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 something but also i want i want people to realize as well when i do these videos 
it's not just, yes, it might help other people, it might impact people, but it's a reminder to myself. It's a reminder to myself to, to say, you know what, don't lose yourself as well. Keep it going. That's why sometimes when, you, when I do these YouTube videos, when it becomes too much, I take a break every couple of weeks because it can become too much. I need to free my mind. These things also apply to me as well. And how I feel, I know a lot of people might be feeling the same way. So that's the reason why I make these videos. So it's your boy, Mr. C. I'm not going to take your time anymore. Have a fantastic time and uh, enjoy.